Okay, in this video, we'll be importing directly from a memory card. Notice up here where it says Source, Devices. If I click through here, I can say that this is my untitled source. In this case, it is a 64 gig SD card. I'm going to check Eject after Import. I'm going to check All, and so all the images that I want to import are in the central viewing area. I can scroll up and down, decide if I want to uncheck any images, lack of focus, pictures of my shoes, an inadvertent picture. So the next thing we're going to look at is are we going to copy to DNG or just copy direct? We're going to copy direct in this case. I'm not going to convert to DNG. And then over here is the destination. Where am I taking these images to? If you look up here where it says from copy to, and in this case here, I'm going to move to another destination. In that case, it's going to be on the system level. I can go to my primary A drive and choose it. Or you can come down here to the destination area, and you can pick and choose your destination. Let's go to the top of the panel quickly and see that file handling. I'm going to render previews. I'm going to create standard previews. I'm not going to import into the catalog any suspected duplicates. And if I wanted to make a second copy to another volume, I can just by clicking here and navigating to that volume right here onto my hard drive. In this case, I'm not going to make a second copy. When I eject the card, I still have the images on the card and the copy in place in the destination I select. I'm not going to do any file renaming. Normally I edit first and then rename after I've gotten rid of my edits. Apply during import. In this case here, I'm going to use a develop setting with a gentle S curve. It gives me a little boost in contrast and then a, a little bit of saturation. It's a preset that I made. And I'm going to put in the metadata for my copyright. A couple of keywords like SA for South Australia and farm something like that. Simple words, nothing specific at this point. It's not all gears and wrenches, so I might do those uh, specific keywords within Lightroom after selecting those images. The destination. I'm going to introduce a subfolder to my primary drive A archive folder. Okay. So by clicking here, I can say SA Farm. And if I scroll down in alpha order here, you'll see the word SA Farm and a little plus sign next to the folder. That's all I need to do to import my images and copy them from the card into Lightroom. I'm going to hit Import now. And that process will create the preview, apply the keywords, apply the develop setting, and place it in a folder called SA Farm. 